Hello guys and welcome to Walking Project here, it's Tony, your favorite YouTuber. Today I'm celebrating another milestone on my channel with another phone stories video. In front of you I've got the cancelled Motorola MPX or as known as Motorola MPX 300 in some uh, different regions. So essentially that was a 2004 Motorola smartphone running Windows Mobile 2003 operating system um, which was kind of you know, uh, a rival to the uh, Nokia Communicator series in a way but for whatever reason it was released only in some Asian countries it was available in the US through the carriers but shortly after I think one or two months something like that it suddenly got cancelled and never released I believe in Europe whatsoever so the only units available over here in Europe are these test prototypes guys which work to a different extent in front of me I've got a fully working unit so before i power it on let's have a look at the design of that beast and have a look guys this is absolutely amazing stuff over here check the design of the flash have you ever seen a phone with a flash like that guys i mean that's that's a very nice uh, plastic build over here you've got some buttons at the uh, outer edge and you've got the Motorola logo which changes color depending on the angle all pretty cool stuff the metal Motorola logo over here on the side we've got the typical Motorola connector nothing special really just the regular you know Motorola charger from the time from the V series and the Motorola E1000 which I'm going to feature on my channel soon enough now that's the port over here this is the uh, sim card tray over here guys you've got a embedded stylus over here very very cool is it telescopic no it is not telescopic i'm just gonna leave it on the side check this out at the back <laughs> designed for windows mobile and the uh, plastic has this kind of you know sparkle effect a little bit i can't really show it on the camera but let's have a look if, if it's gonna focus oh yeah you can see the sparkles over here really nice quality uh stuff at this side we've got uh you know full sd card support over here at the bottom of the device we've got nothing and on top of the device we've got i think that's 2.5 millimeter jack and infrared port as well but the absolute showstopper of the phone was the hinge mechanism over here which i'm going to demonstrate right now so you've got two options of opening the phone like that this is the first option you can see the mpx logo over here and you can see the very weird keyboard over here shall i flip it like that check this out the <laughs> digits over here are kinked for some reason i can imagine that you can kind of see them in both ways no matter how you rotate the keyboard over here but the other way of opening the phone is uh, by pushing this little button over here and then opening it up like that the idea was you know you just leave the phone like that and you watch i really have no idea what exactly are you going to watch in 2003 i don't think youtube was even started but anyways the display was rather big i'm really not sure of the exact size um i think it's about three inches something like that and the resolution is uh 240 by 320 which was kind of the norm back in the day really high resolution well for the time display and now this is the battery guys have a look at this battery it's in 2004 built as you can see it's 17 years old at the time of filming this video and it still works and it's not expanded guys this is nothing short of a miracle and this battery was specific for this device which means that this is a very very extremely hard to find battery which wasn't you know compatible with any other phone so you open up the device like that and check this out guys what do we have in order to remove the sim card you actually have to poke it with uh you know with the, <laughs> with the stylus like that i remember this being a very weird quirk on the nokia express music 5800 like six or seven years later but motorola had it way before that and check this out for p10 sample which means that that was a prototype device but having a full ime number made in taiwan okay fair enough so i'm just going to plug the battery like so and i'm going to power up this baby so you can have a look at 
you know motro man i to be honest with you i miss i miss the good old motro you know so many so many devices like that which were quite you know brave in terms of design and anything else did i not put it properly let me see what's happening over here okay this time i put it right i guess oh yes so yeah the good old motorola they were brave man they were, they were experimenting with different devices and that's just the opposite of the motorola v3 razor which i believe came out the last year guys that's that's chunky that's big that's bold and uh let me power it on check this out 2003 2004 hello moto can you imagine i mean the simple fact check check the backlight of this keyboard guys absolutely madness over okay, here the simple fact that a prototype device you know still works after almost 20 years is pretty much mind-blowing i guarantee you that none of these two screen devices that we use right now are going to work you know 20 years time and uh yeah i mean that's that's so weird it's so it's so quirky and probably you've never gonna see another one these are quite expensive by the way this one is sold um already on ebay for like 230 pounds something like that which is the all-time high for a device like that but i can imagine in the hands of a private collector these are going to get even more expensive with the time so let's do the compulsory alignment test of the third screen i really hated that in every single windows operating uh, you know phone it's it's a quick tutorial guys it's it's extremely annoying showing you how to copy and paste some text it's just the basic stuff but considering most people have never used you know one of those uh, smartphones at the time they totally had no idea how to operate with such a device so that was kind of necessary and understandable to be honest with you they've got the cool wallpaper uh you know the motorola one over here with some skyscrapers and uh check this out you've got the full proper you know windows windows menu over here you can operate it you know with your fingertip like that it's not necessary to have the stylus but man let me tell you something back in the day you get this stylus and you start doing something and it looks like you're some sort of a you know super nerd but in the same time you are uh you know rich because these devices were very expensive back in the day i'm really not sure in terms of pricing but i believe i have a source that i've read that uh this was almost one thousand dollar device guys which at the time one thousand dollars in 2003 that was mind-blowingly expensive let me let me say that uh, you've got some uh, applications pre-built uh, pretty much nothing special as far as I can see have a look at them terminal services for a prototype device that was a really close to you know consumer uh, ready device so there was nothing that weird onto it as far as I can see let me see the settings that's why the calibration is important it doesn't <laughs> He doesn't choose the settings properly but yeah sound notifications today this and that i mean nothing 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 that special system viewer let's see what is that okay so system rom that's the uh, <coughs> sorry built-in storage 64 megabytes can you imagine guys and system ram uh i guess is 32 megabytes but available 23 out of the box you've got some drivers over here the version of the drivers the system and that was running you know texas instruments or map as 200 megahertz processor can you imagine how underpowered that was but in the same time it was doing a good job guys uh the rom is from 2005 and you've got wi-fi that was that was the highlight of this phone guys you had you know wi-fi on this phone and mostly none of the other phones had that at the time so let me show you the keyboard itself so there's the keyboard guys uh, upon opening the phone in this mode nothing in particular happens you've got no application launches but check this out this is the wi-fi bluetooth and, and this and that and over here you can start a new message uh for example and you we're gonna start typing in a second it takes you know a little bit of time to um, choose an mms okay anyway custom mms it doesn't really matter mms can you imagine back in the day that was the only way to send a picture message pretty much um but yeah how do i go back on that thing let me see can you imagine the back button so close to the enter button so they look pretty much the same 
uh, and I really have no idea. Let me see with this. Okay, insert text in here. So yeah, there's the QWERTY keyboard over here, guys. Everything works as intended as as you can see. I mean, it was it was so cool, guys. Back in the day to have one of those phones. Let me see if that's gonna open the menu. Okay, camera. Let me see if this is going to open the camera. So, so pretty much all of the buttons work on this device, guys. You've got the alt button over here. So, yeah, can you imagine in 2004 getting this device out and just popping it on the table like that and pretending you're doing something important over here? So cool, but in the same time, so unnecessary and so expensive. Yet, I'm glad that Motorola wasn't afraid to put out such a crazy devices, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you know somebody or if you had this phone uh, back in the day. What happened with it? Where did you buy it from? How much did you pay? I'm really interested to know a little bit more about this phone because, you know, the information on the internet is a little bit uh, scarce nowadays. Uh, most of the pages are not available. They're not accurate. Let's say that in 2003, you know, mobile phone journalism was a little bit weird. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. The cancelled Motorola MPX prototype and there's the outer screen by the way check this out the blue uh, lights over here I really like them let's see what we actually can do okay we've got a small check this out guys we've got a small interface over here you can have a look at our photos here default change the wallpapers that's coming back changing the wallpaper man I mean it's so cool it's so cool uh you've got a usable you know secondary screen over here so yeah that's pretty much it i'm glad that i have the chance to review this phone guys and uh, stay tuned for more crazy phones like that every 1000 subscribers so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one Adios.